You are a gifted man. That's good. Uh, you hit other people really hard. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, you are a pro woodcutter. Oh, let me tell you this. Okay. You, he, Ed is a pro woodcutter. Ed has been working his tail off every single day down at our new children's building. And uh, our new children's building is going to be a phenomenal facility. And for those of you that have been working down there and have helped, I'm here to tell you that you might not realize that this guy has been cutting pieces of wood after piece of wood, getting splinter after splinter after splinter. And uh, you might not realize what you're doing this, but what the cool thing about that is is that kids are going to come to know God and their lives are going to be absolutely changed forever because you've been down there cutting wood at And you might not realize that you're doing that. You're impacting little kids' lives. And Ed, you're my homeboy. So, <laughs> so uh, and once again, Ed, I'm glad you're here, and uh, I have seen your hard dedication to work down there at the office. A lot of a lot of guys. I was at it when I was your age. I was kind of like that, and I'm still kind of like that. I I feel like I'm good at giving orders instead of just doing things. But I've, I've actually stepped out of faith the last few weeks <laughs> and started doing things that I wouldn't do normally because I'm not a gifted person when it's cutting wood. Doing manly things, like I should say. Uh, I'll let my wife do that stuff. So, but anyway, uh, what I do want to say is, is a lot of guys, they just kind of sit back and don't do things. But you have been working the hell off, and I would love to see uh, the man that you are in the great help you've been. So, y'all give it up for Ed. And you really do not have a clue. Now, now this started off really bad. I was wondering if I wanted to read this. <laughs> You really do not have a clue about the impact that you have on other people's lives. And so that, that's a good thing, and, a, and I, I see that as a positive thing. So Cody, what I want to say about you is you are very dependable. Uh, I know when we were really, at the beginning of the semester, when we were trying to get the new epicenter building set up, because there was so much to do, and I didn't have time to do it, uh, I knew if there was one guy that I wanted to call on, and he would be there. I didn't have to worry about him not being there on time, and I didn't have to worry about him asking questions, and that was Cody. And Cody was down there helping in the epicenter building, slaving uh, the carpet ball tables that everyone plays on like crazy. He helped build those, built most of them. Uh, and so, Cody, you are a very dependable man, and that is a rare characteristic for someone your age uh, to be dependable like that. And so 